for me, the, the fundamental one is the interactivity and, and the rules, but a strong second place is physically what the player's doing. Um, so when I make games at home, um, I don't like the feeling of clicking a mouse. It just feels awkward, and it, you know, that doesn't feel to me like falling in love, if you're making a game about falling in love. So I, I, you know, I tried to uh, design games around that feeling, so I didn't want any clicking, I wanted you know, broad motions. Um, uh, when I made a game about creativity, I wanted a lot of the time for the player's hand to be moving up, in ver like uh, vertically pushing up, because I, I, I felt that that would, um, that's part of how being creative feels, is you're, you're, you're building and driving something up, as opposed, you know, you're not frantically doing this. And if you, if you pay attention to video game players' hands, um, you can see a lot of why there is that emotional disconnect from the content quite often, which is you know, having a mini game where you're hitting buttons frantically um, and you're you know, trying to um, persuade someone to give you something. Well, that doesn't feel like persuasion. You know, that feels like nagging. Um, so it would be appropriate for a nagging um, mini game.